I'm Dwayne Rolfs of Servants United Parish. I will be leading daily devotions with you. The basis for these daily devotions is from Christ in Her Home, a daily devotional series. The Bible readings are from the Revised Standard Version. Monday, May 10th, the reading is from 1 Timothy, the 6th chapter, verses 11 and 12. But as for you, man of God, shun all this. Aim at righteousness, godliness, faith, love, steadfastness, gentleness. Fight the good fight of the faith. Take hold of the eternal life to which you were called. Then you made the good confession in the presence of many witnesses. The word of the Lord. Eternal life now. We commonly think of eternal life as something after our time on earth has ended. A place where God will wipe away, will wipe every tear from our eyes, and death will be no more. But eternal life is also about how we live now. If you have been baptized, and if you were a baby or a young child at the time, you probably weren't paying much attention to what the pastor said. But when we are brought for baptism, even adults are brought by the Holy Spirit, and water is splashed on our heads, or we are eased under the water, a pastor may say, Let your light shine before others, so that they may see your good works and give glory to your Father in heaven. That's eternal life. Living in Christ so His light shines through us now. We were created to love and praise God and to love and serve our neighbor. Who is our neighbor? If someone is in need and we have the means to help, that person is our neighbor. When we help our neighbor, we take hold of the eternal life. God gives freely and follow Jesus' call to live in love. Our prayer. Eternal God, thank you for the life now and forever. Amen. Please join me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen.